channel guys behind me is a beautiful 2023 brand new faraday signature series c8 corvette this one is supercharged let me go into more detail about it and how much horsepower this thing made mr corey's 23 c8 corvette he originally contacted us uh, for our 700 horsepower supercharge package and after doing more research and talking to our sales staff uh, he then inquired about a faraday c8 corvette which and then i gave him a phone call and we discussed for uh, quite a bit his needs and goals and what he wanted to get out of this car sending it to us. So we went from a 700 horsepower supercharged package to a 1000 plus horsepower Faraday Signature Series C8 Corvette. So let me show you in detail the mods behind us of uh, what all we did to get there. All right, so at first glance, it kind of looks just like our 700 horsepower supercharged package. It is a Pro Charger system with a P1X head unit on it, uh, intake manifold, uh, air to water, so it does have a heat exchanger in it with a water tank on the side. So for cooling, when this car idles and drives around, water flows through this intake. Picture this being like a radiator. So the, the supercharger makes boost, all the boosted air before it hits the motor goes through, let's call it the cool radiator to keep the intake air temps down by the time it hits the intake runner of the cylinder. So the Pro Charger system, uh, just like on our other ones, it is a cog driven setup here in the back, but it does have a jack shaft that runs to the front of the motor where it spins off of the balancer. And that's where we get our uh, crankshaft speed to spin the supercharger to make boost. And again, Mr. Corey didn't just want 700 horsepower. When I spoke to him, he was like, Steven, if it was your car and you supercharged it, what would you do? I said. I would want to have the highest horsepower supercharged C8 Corvette in the world if I could. And he said, well, let's freaking do it. I said, all right, if I do it this way, um, I also have to do other supporting mods to not just make the horsepower, but uh, my Fet Faraday Signature Series isn't just about horsepower, it's about reliability and just about uh, a better experience driving your vehicle. So it, not only performance, but then wheels and tires and aero and so forth. So he said, Let's go for it. And I said, okay. Um, I think at the time, a uh, few shops have made 700 rear wheel horsepower, maybe even 800 rear wheel horsepower with this thing. We decided to go ahead and pull the engine out. We did a complete heads and cam package on it. Uh, our guys over at LME put forged pistons, forged rods in this thing for the boost. <laughs> Together. As always, we use American Racing long tube headers. Uh, we actually kept the factory cats on this thing. Uh, Mr. Corey wanted this car to be louder than stock, but not obnoxiously loud. And it's still pretty loud with the stock cats on it, but we've done some um, off-road systems that are for uh, track use only that are very loud, for, like some road race cars. So we kept the high flow cats on it with our cat back exhaust system on it. And this thing, normal driving, sounds fantastic. Wide open throttle is incredible. And the D cell uh, with a little bit of burble on it sounds amazing. But again, his goal was see if we can make the highest horsepower with the supercharger, as well as he did not want to have any meth on the car and he did not want to have port injection on it. All he wanted to do was put 93 octane in the tank, hop in it and drive. And to try to make as much horsepower as we could with a supercharger and we hit his goals um, and actually surpassed what I thought we were gonna do. So we kept this thing all direct injection. So it, all the fuel system is how it came from the factory. We just upgraded a lot of the stuff. So we have a bigger low side fuel pump that feeds our mechanical pump and our DI injectors. And we also changed the DI injectors to larger DI injectors to be able to support 900 rear wheel horsepower on pump gas. Um, this thing, I think it 
final dyno numbers. We kept around 13, 14 pounds of boost. And I think the final dyno numbers were around 890, almost 900 rear wheel horsepower. So it's well over the 1,000, 1050 flywheel horsepower numbers. Um, again, the car is just incredible to drive. So with the performance and the horsepower, then comes the drivetrain. All right, how do we, now that we know we made the horsepower, now how do we put it to the ground and keep it reliable? So the clutch in it, we do our Dodson clutch, same clutch that we run in our eight second world record C8 Corvette. Um, it is a little bit aggressive on the one, two shift, but for the most part, um, it takes off and drives like stock once you get going. Um, and it is aggressive enough to be able to launch the car without having any issues and floor this thing from a stop or from a roll and it shifts amazing, which you will see later in this video. Um, but so, performance, engine, supercharger, fuel system, the clutch, then coming to the back, the exhaust, and then next, we have to have the car look good. And then again, all about the driving experience. We have to have the wheels and tires on it to make the car handle good on the road, on the street, and for what he's doing, it's a weekend toy. He's not drag racing it. He's not going to a road course. He just wants to take it to car shows and when he pulls up next to somebody, be able to beat them. Little quick burst from 50 to 100 miles an hour. So we went with 21s on the back, 20s on the front, and as you can see, the beautiful RSC Aero Kit. The front carbon fiber, front lip. In my opinion, guys, this is the best Aero Kit on the market, and this is what we put on all of our Faraday Signature Series C8 Stingray Corvettes. Uh, I know a Z06, in my opinion, the wide body looks good, and I get it, but if you do have a Stingray out there and you want your car to look right, in my opinion, this is the best looking Stingray uh, package you can do when it comes to aero, and then wheels and tires are options. So full carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber side skirt, and then I call it the carbon fiber duct bill, which from the side and from the back makes this thing look amazing. And then when it comes to wheel and tire options, I go over with the customer, again, what his needs and goals are. And because he's not drag racing it or uh, road racing it, there was no need to put an 18 inch drag radial on it or even a 15 inch drag radial on it. So we did go with the 21s for looks, but then also we put the brand new Michelins on it for traction. So it is a linear horsepower curve. Um, it does still spin in first and second, not crazy. It, it is enough where you can floor it. Traction control keeps it under, uh, under control and keeps it lane and keeps it moving fast. So he opted for the 21s and 20s. Uh, these are Vossens where, again, we have different options for you guys out there looking uh, at doing a Faraday Signature C8 Corvette or just one of our packages in general. Um, contact our sales staff, guys. We have several different options when it comes to wheels and tires. All right, guys, so we did set the world record for a supercharged C8 Corvette. Almost 900 rear wheel horsepower. I think it was 890 something rear wheel horsepower. achieve those numbers 93 octane uh, isn't the safest thing so what we do for a setup like this is we have a fuel additive that the customer will have to put one quart of a fuel additive in for every tank he fills up and it just keeps it so it's roughly 95 octane um, it's really just to keep it safe for in case you ever got bad 93 octane we're trying to up the octane as much as possible to keep this thing reliable so to achieve 900 rear wheel horsepower um, yes you can do it on 93 octane pump gas it's just in my opinion not as reliable the boost level that's up we have to run i want to keep this thing super safe so the higher octane we can run in this thing uh, the more obviously prone it is to not detonate so i want to keep it safe so that is all done um, i think i'm gonna hop in this thing let y'all hear it and then uh, 
go take it for a ride and uh, let y'all see what this thing can do. See what the world's highest horsepower supercharged C8 can do. It sounds amazing, by the way. It sounds like a jet freaking thing when you're driving it just normal. guys we are in mr. Corey's beautiful brand new 2023 Faraday edition c8 Corvette supercharged uh, we've done a lot of twin turbo ones lately today I'm gonna take y'all for a ride in a supercharged Faraday c8 Corvette I can't wait to show you what this thing can do uh, we've shown you all in the past a lot of uh, supercharged, like 700 horsepower packages. This one takes it to a whole nother level. Still being very reliable, as I want to show y'all, while running very quick and making great numbers. This car is running on 93 octane, but there is no methanol. There is no port injection. It is still running on full direct injection, but we run 93 octane in it. And to make that extra horsepower, we have to raise the octane in it. So we do run a fuel additive with every tank of gas we run. So Mr. Corey will have uh, we send a case with the, with the car, and every time he fills up, he puts one quart uh, when he fills up his whole tank. What it does, it just makes it, essentially instead of 93 octane, he's going to have 95, 96 all times. And we do that because, again, we're running higher boost levels than what we run on our normal 700 horsepower supercharged C8 packages. And we want it to be reliable. So to achieve those numbers, you have to have good octane in your car. Now, if you know people say, hey, can you put E85 in it? If we did that, then we'd have to do something like a meth kit or port injection. And he wanted to keep this thing as simple as can be, just put gas in it with the fuel additive in it and just go. Didn't want to have to worry about any other controllers or any other modules or putting fuel anywhere else or putting meth in a tank or checking anything like that. And I think we uh, far surpassed uh, his expectations of what we uh, talked about originally. And again, now that we can tune these ECMs properly, I want to show you guys how this car runs and drives, no check engine lights, making we're going to call it 850 900 rear wheel horsepower in a c8 corvette that's supercharged and i want to show you it shift as well because uh in the past with our high horsepower stuff and our big turbo applications shifting was the big problem with the clutch in these cars um, now that we can tune them even though we don't, don't have full control of the tcms yet uh doing the ecm does help and then obviously for a build like this uh, we put a good clutch in it to hold the extra horsepower as well uh, but I do want to log it and again I'm just gonna do a few little low rolls just so y'all can kind of get an idea of what this thing feels like or uh, at least looks like uh, from behind the camera and hopefully y'all can get some good sounds out of it because this thing sounds incredible and it rolls track mode traction control is on and what I'll do I'm act like someone pulls up next to me and wants to play I'm gonna 
drop it down to second gear. Incredible. For a centrifugal supercharger, this thing still at the head. I mean, y'all saw it throw me back in the seat and with the video camera, you'll be able to see trash control light was flashing all through second gear and into third gear. Oh my God, it drives that thing. That actually surprised me quite a bit. Uh, I knew it was gonna be quick, like on the higher RPMs, like the centrifugal blower is, the linear horsepower curve. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna hit that hard at the hit, but again, we're spinning the blower harder uh, than most. Uh, so it has a lot more boost at the lower RPM. So when I hit it right there, we still had good power as long as you're in the power range like that. But that felt great. And again, y'all can see, you can hop in this car, drive it every day, put pump gas in it and go. First attempt, it had head cam pro charger. Might have to take two. This doesn't start well, but we'll see. Is this the world's first? As far as I know. As far as I know. watching this video guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button give it a like if you liked it so far and please turn on bell notifications for future content as we have cool stuff in the pipeline that you're going to want to see and as always please comment below